There comes a point in the crucible of competition where records and reputation mean nothing. The Phoenix Suns have stepped onto that stage. Welcome to the NBA Finals. They played to the best regular season record in the league, 62 wins, home court advantage throughout the playoffs. Two nights ago in game one, the Suns discovered what it means to play for the championship. Angered, flustered, seemingly overwhelmed by the moment. We're just glad game one is over. And uh, now we can get on to playing basketball. Game one may be gone, but the Chicago Bulls remain, brimming with resolve, one step closer to the historic three-peat, anxious to make Phoenix face this cold reality. No team has ever lost the first two games at home and come back to win the NBA championship. This is the NBA on NBC. The 1993 NBA Finals. Tonight, game two between the Chicago Bulls and the Phoenix Suns. Checking the starting lineup for Chicago. Michael Jordan, B.J. Armstrong, open in the backcourt. Up front, Scottie Pippen coming off another outstanding game at Horace Grant. They are on the front line. Bill Cartwright shot well again in the early going in game one. Kevin Johnson in the backcourt. Suns look for Kevin Johnson to turn it around. Richard Dumas, who had a good one. Charles Barkley also looking for a bounce back in game two. And the center, Mark West, who played only 14 minutes on Wednesday night. And we're ready for game number two of this best of seven. Mark West and Bill Cartwright. The Suns control the opening tip. Kevin Johnson met at midcourt by B.J. Armstrong. Richard Dumas given the room. Barkley off the pick. Barkley from the outside is able to hit on his first attack. Battled away by Jordan and scooped up by Pippen, leading to the fast break. Jordan, yes, and the game is tied at two. The Suns and the Bulls are tied at two. Oh, beautiful alley-oop for Scottie Pippen, a look away thrown by Michael Jordan. They just did there. Jordan looks like Michael wants to get to it early offensively. He's early get his teammates involved. Suns and Bulls tied at six. They trap Johnson. West for Barkley. Some good interior passing by the Suns, and Grant, who already had one ticky-tack foul when he poked him in the eye early, that time trying to come over and help out on the rotation. A little late, two fouls on Horace Grant early in the game. And magic in contrast to the way the Suns came out in game one. On the tight side, Charles Barkley telling us after practice yesterday. Charles has five points. One for one from the line and two of three from the field. And Magic, they opened up the game. The Grant Barkley matchup. What did Phoenix do? Brought Barkley to the top. Now Barkley posting up. Charles Barkley able to hit the turnaround. Jordan for three. Yes. Michael Jordan. Hitting from downtown, he now has seven points, and Michael has just passed Magic Johnson as Barkley gets inside. For being honest, he held up his hands and the officials went along with the ball. Game is tied at 31. Michael Jordan with nine points and did a good job penetrating. Barkley stepping around Grant. Let's be down in his stance. Charles turns and faces. Gets him up in the air. And now go around and convert. Richard Dumas called for the foul. We'll be right back. Came up very strong in the playoffs the last couple of years. Michael Jordan with a sweet stroke. Game, and they love it. Kevin broke it up. Nobody back for the 
Rashard. It's Jordan. All the way. And a time. Unselfish play by the Bulls. Give it to Michael. Let him get the two. Johnson has returned. Marley. And Foster. Charles Bob Rashad had a strong. Bob Costas will be along at halftime. Here's Jordan. Oh, what a pass for Horace Grant. You talk about beautiful, unselfish basketball. There's giving. Barkley with the setup. Marley could not finish it. The Bulls lead 47 to 39. Michael has hit his last four. And he has Barkley being guarded by Pippen. Single coverage. And Barkley now has a G. With losses, though, at the hands of Eastern Clubs. And three of the losses after the All Star break. Jordan on the recovery. Now that's one you rarely. Jordan couldn't extend, but Marley goes back and gets a body on him right there to prevent him from scoring. But Jordan recovers more quickly than Dan Marley. The Bulls have hit 10 of their last 11 from the field and lead by 12. I'm out. I'm out over her Phil Jackson telling the Bulls they like the tempo. They feel they're in control as Michael Jordan tips it in. And Bulls with a 13-point advantage. Barkley. Charles pulling his way and then going. To the left hand. Chambers to the scoop. Rebound Barkley. Oh, what a play by Charles Barkley. If you're wondering why we were talking about four or five passes for Chicago and then suddenly Jordan shoots a quick one, he was trying for a two for one. Get one up, see if it goes in. No, he'll get the last one back. And Barkley drew the foul. <laughs> Penetration by Chambers gets it up on the glass, and then Charles just rips it from between two balls and converts as he's fallen down. And then again, to end a quarter, an opportunity for Phoenix to wind up with a three-point play. They did it to end the first quarter. He has a chance now, Barkley, as he goes to the basket to do it once again this quarter. Well, see, they're doing something different here in, in, in game two. You see Westbrook going to react to this play. They're getting, finally, penetration. They may not be getting, getting it from KJ, but they're getting it from other guys, Phoenix Suns. And that's the best sustained period of the half. For the Suns, seven straight points. They have moved within six at the half. Michael Jordan, nine for 15. He has 19. Charles Barkley, 10 of 14, 25 points. Bob Costas and the Prudential Halftime Report. And the guest list includes John Havlicek, Chris Webber, and Sean Bradley, a star. Basketball and decides that he is going to make some things happen. Oliver Miller played well in the first half. Horace Grant with the rebound and pops it back out. Here's Jordan for three. Yes. So Michael Jordan with a second three-pointer. He has 24. The Suns have knocked it down to a one-point Chicago lead. Johnson on the penetration. Barkley. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley puts it back. He has 27. If they can do it one more time. Jordan. And they do answer the ball. Seven lead, 440 remaining in the third quarter. Barkley gets inside. The basket counts. And a blocking foul. Scott Williams called for his fourth. Get Charles down low, close to the basket. Good things are going to happen because of his strength and power. And in fact, going back to what Ahmad had just mentioned, when Michael was playing golf yesterday, the reports came out that he was playing with Charles Barkley, when in fact, it was Quinn Buckner that was out there. So that means Quinn must look a lot like Charles. Did it against the Lakers three years ago. Did it against Portland last season. Barkley again draws the foul. Another three-point opportunity. 32 for Barkley. As we mentioned, if he's eight for eight at halftime from inside, why wouldn't you just keep giving it to him down there until they do something to stop him? Man is just too tough one-on-one -on -one in the paint area. He's getting great position, though, and, and he's getting the ball just where he needed uh, his outstretched hand. Boy, he, can, he don't have to dribble. He just takes it up and power it. He's six of seven from the line, 13 of 19 from the field. The Chicago Bulls. 
Chambers blocked from behind by Jordan. Bulls have had six of the last oh, one. What a pass! Jordan for Grant. The Bulls by ten. Way Chicago has been kicking their defensive one. The steal by Marley. Johnson with Barkley. Barkley Phoenix within one. Bill Jackson wants to talk it over. Basketball game. And here they have Marley steals it away from Michael Jordan. And Frank Johnson sees Barkley trailing and gives it to the big man for the slam dunk. Jordan. So Michael Jordan to the floater. Barkley wants to stay in. He is hurting. The reverse. Michael Jordan has 30. The Bulls now lead 87. 82. Phoenix has come at us tonight. They're going to come at us one more time. We've got to hold them off and make the push. And Charles. At one point of the first half, Chicago led by his money. That's 14. Barkley all the way. Michael has 32 points. Seem to go Magic was talking about when Michael Jordan steps back on the floor. You have to pay special attention. He has the mentality of taking the ball to the basket and then so good finishing with either right or left. Michael Jordan. He's getting good looks. And Armstrong gets to it. You see gang rebounding by Chicago. Everybody tries to help out. Jordan able to finish it off. And the foul. Key to this fast break is B.J. Armstrong because watch him look over the man who was guarding a Michael Jordan and he looked him off and then came right back to him. Beautiful move by B.J. to set up Michael. Jordan. is still doing an excellent job on the offensive board. Right now that, that gave him their uh, 15th, I think, offensive rebound. And you need offensive rebounds when you're not shooting the ball well. And Williams for a piece on Chambers and Kevin Johnson. Jordan to the fadeaway. Michael Jordan with another big shot. Michael Jordan where he knows he wants to go up. Then he gets a little fade, but the extra lift in his legs to give him the clean look at the rim. You know it's going in from the time it leaves his hands just by the way he used his legs. The series of fakes. Michael Jordan makes it 40 points. And the Bulls with a 106 98 lead. It's a triangle offense, all right, but the triangle is smart enough to get the ball to Michael Jordan in a one on one isolation. The other four red shirts on the other side of the floor watching Michael. Nine and eight ten seconds to go. The Suns must play better teams. So the final score as Danny Ames converts again from downtown. The Bulls 111, the Suns 108. Charles Barkley 42 points, 13 rebounds. Michael Jordan 42 points, 12 rebounds, and nine assists. Just shy of a triple double. And Michael is alongside Ahmad Rashad. Here's Ahmad. All right, thanks, Marv. Michael, you guys just like defending champions when the pressure was on you, you still were able to maintain your poise and still execute? Well, our experience once again paid off for us down the stretch. I mean, you're talking about a team who's been in a situation before and, uh, you know, they made a great push at us down the stretch and uh, we just went through our basic offense and executed down the stretch. Now, consciously, did you come in to take over the game just in the last part of the fourth quarter when the score was tied, 91 apiece, you come in, you guys shut the door on them? Well, you know, I've been in this position before and my team uh, puts a lot of confidence in me. I got that extra rest in the, in, uh, in the fourth quarter so that I could come out and make an effort on the offensive end. And uh, I think it was a good team effort from everybody, rebounding-wise and defensively. All right, congratulations to you. Good luck to you in the next game. Thanks. All right, back to you, Marv. All right, Ahmad. I look at the scoring rundown, the key man.